Check out right here. Big one. Looks like a big female. These are some of our biggest, beautiful, and amazing jumping spiders. Oh, those are nice fangs there. Phytopus aldax, the bold jumping spider. Let's go. Ouch! <laughs> Ow! Jumping spiders. These fluffy and expressive little creatures seem to be much more palatable compared to their more lanky relatives. Even if you don't like spiders, it's hard to deny that this group is pretty cute. Now, jumping spiders are equipped with an array of round eyes and strong arms that they use to find and jump on their prey. These spiders, like almost every other species, are also equipped with venom to subdue and digest their meals. However, this venom does have a secondary feature. It can also be used in a defensive bite to keep these spiders from becoming lunch. Want to know how bad the bite from a jumping spider would hurt? Look no further. Let's find out together. All right, everybody, and welcome back to Jack's World of Wildlife. Now, today I'm in this lovely little North Texas forest, and I am looking for some very special invertebrates. Now, you all liked my previous jumping spider video, so today I'm on the look for the bold jumping spider, or Phytopus audax. Now, these are some of our largest jumping spiders here in North America, and one of the most impressive and beautiful species, in my opinion, as well. So we're gonna poke around right at the beginning of spring is when these animals are gonna be coming out foraging for food so that the females can get a lot of protein to create their egg sacs to further proliferate their lovely baby jumping spider friends. So we're gonna poke around and hopefully we can find some and hopefully we can show some to you at home. So without any further ado, let's get uh, let's get jumping for some jumping spiders. That was horrible. Oh, no way. Check out right here, big one, looks like a big female. She's, t she's tracking me right now, she's looking right at me. Look right there. There's our bold jumping spider. Hope you can see that in the camera, folks. Look at that, she is gorgeous. Just like I said, these animals are gonna be foraging at this time of year, looking for all sorts of insects to pounce on and eat. So let's see if I can snatch her up. Into this little pill bottle without her slipping under some bark. Come here. Yes, there we go. Oh. <laughs> wow, look at that. That is a good sized jumping spider. Now, like I said, this genus Phytopus is our largest genera of jumping spider by size here in the United States. These are some of our biggest, beautiful, and amazing jumping spiders. Now these animals are equipped with some very sensitive eyes. As you could see, she was able to key me out quite quickly and, and track me with, her, with, her, with those large compound eyes that she has resting on top of her head or not compound eyes, sorry, lens eyes, and she's tracking me, she's looking at me, she's watching me, and she's able to flee from even a predator such as myself. Uh, but sight is not only a getting away from predator game, this is also the main mode of predation that these animals have. They are sight predators, they're watching for prey, they're scanning it, they're seeing that movement, and then of course they're jumping, leaping onto it with these powerful legs, piercing it with their fangs, injecting that venom, liquefying the contents and drinking the liquefied innards. But super, super neat, super cool spiders. Now I'm thinking of doing something special for you all today, as I've already filmed a capture video of the bold jumping spider, Phytopus aldax. Um, how about a bite? Does that sound interesting? Um, the bite should be fairly minimal, um, but everybody really seemed to like my brown recluse and black widow spider bites, and they've asked for a few more spider bites this year, so I think I will oblige. So we're going to test the bite. I actually have been bitten on the finger by a bold jumping spider at, at this exact spot, so I knew this was a good place to look. Um, I don't remember it being too bad, but uh, that was just a quick little nip uh, because I just barely kind of picked it up, so I'm wondering if, uh, if I kind of pin this to my skin like... Uh, like some of our other um, uh, bite subjects, if this is gonna hurt a little bit more. So uh, let's test the bite of the bold jumping spider. 
All right, I've taken off my backpack, I've unsheathed myself, and I'm ready to test the bite of this spider. <laughs> that sounded really bad. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we go. Let's see here. She didn't like that. So you can see, these are some pretty impressive spiders. Now those green, that metallic green that you're seeing, that is the what's called chelicerae, which is what the fangs are sheathed in. So the fangs are gonna be right tucked in underneath. Now being true spiders, these animals uh, possess fangs that pinch uh, from the outside in instead of up and down, like say some of our tarantulas and uh, megalomorph, which are not true uh, spiders. Now that sun just came out. Oh yeah, look at that. You see, can you see those fangs? Mm-hmm. Oh, those are nice fangs there. Take a look at that, folks. Those are good size. You can see they pinch outwardly in. All right, you ready? Let's take a look. Phytopus aldax, the bold jumping spider. Let's go. Ouch! <laughs> Oh, hey, that's not very sweet. Look at that. Oh, man. Woof. Woof. <laughs> Good job, cutie. Ouch, that kind of stung. That kind of bong. That got me bonked. Wow, that was impressive. You can see those really nice, impressive fangs. Man, that wind is going now. See my arm shaking? <laughs> wow, that was quite impressive, cutie. Quite an impressive bite. Oh, too cool. Well, we'll let her get back over here. Goodbye. There she goes. But look at this, folks. You can see right there, it's where those fangs went in. Sorry, I'm a little shaky. That was impressive. That was quite the sting. That felt almost like a, maybe a little um, wasp or yellow jacket. It was uh, pretty substantial for a full defensive bite from that uh, jumping spider. So I'm really impressed. You can see it's starting to get red. It's a little tight there. Um, obviously those fangs are, are considerably larger than a lot of the stingers that I'm used to. So there's gonna be a little bit of mechanical damage there. So I'm gonna make sure to kind of keep this area clean, wipe it with an alcohol swab. But uh, wow, I'm, I'm kind of impressed by that. Uh, and that should be a uh, fairly impressive uh, bite for you all at home. That, that was pretty good. Uh, definitely more painful, obviously, initially uh, than the brown recluse or the black widow because that's going to be kind of a more systemic reaction over time. Uh, this is going to be, I imagine, more of like a bee sting type situation. But look at that. You can see that epicenter there. It's actually really light right where those fangs kind of went in. Or maybe that's a scar. I think that fang went in right there. That's impressive. I'm impressed. We'll see uh, We'll see how this uh, fares against everybody else. But as of right now, I'd say I'd comfortably put that around a uh, smaller paper wasp level, uh, which is more than I thought it was going to be. I thought it was just going to be kind of a pew, real quick little pinch and release. Like I said, I've, I've been bitten before on the finger, um, but uh, that was uh, definitely more painful than that. So the, the initial kind of peak pain is kind of gone at this moment, but um, we're going to see just what happens if it's going to be itchy or swollen or or any of that type of thing. One last look, you can see kind of that epicenter forming around that bite site. Storm's brewing, Annie. <laughs> but uh, yeah, wow, that was uh, pretty good. We let our lovely little spider back on her way, but uh, cool. Like I said, I mean, obviously they have that venom for procuring prey, uh, but they can also use it in defense as well. Uh, so obviously there's some there's some lovely uh, concoctions of anti-mammal predatory uh, components that uh, are going to agitate me and my flesh and my and my pain receptors. So let's see, let's see what this does. Super interesting jumping spider, my first proper jumping spider bite. Uh, I'm impressed. Look at that. You can really see that little welt. It's where that initial, you can see, look at that. But that little circle right there, 
That is my jumping spider bite. Too cool. Always love seeing jumping spiders, and I wanted to show you just that another little aspect of these awesome, awesome invertebrates. So we let our lovely little gal go, and uh, you're stuck with me to see just what uh, just what I'm going to put my body through this time. So stay tuned, and we'll see just how dangerous the bold jumping spider bite really is. Do I die? Will I melt? Will my arm become necrotic and have to get amputated? You'll never know unless you watch to the end of this video. The answer may be surprising, shocking, horrifying, revolting, and perhaps educational. So stick around, we'll see what this spider bite does. Take a look at this folks. Look how red and inflamed this area is. It's very localized, it's still Maybe a little bit painful, but uh, very red. Some nice kind of inflammation going on. Very impressive. I'm, I mean, I'm going to say impressed probably a few more times, but uh, I was not expecting that much of a kick from the bold jumping spider. Now, it's likely that a defensive bite would be much shorter, much less venom injected uh, than the bite that I received because I was really pinning it on there. Um, but uh, a very interesting test nonetheless. I don't know how much more this is going to do, but as you can see, quite impressive inflammation there. Um, really, really cool, really interesting, and uh, my actually my first. Well, I want to say not medically significant, but I would classify the brown recluse as not medically significant. Um, but uh, my first, uh, pretty pretty well received non medically significant uh, spider bite. So very interesting, quite strange. Okay, here we are about two days after the initial bite. You can see there's still that raised, irritated bump. It's still a little red, and it was actually kind of itchy. So here we are about a week after. You can see still a little red bump. It's actually quite itchy. Well, at this point, you have seen the full extent of the bold jumping spider bite, so... At this time, I must say adieu. Good day, my friends. I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and turn on post notifications if you enjoyed this video. Of course, join the channel memberships for exclusive behind-the-scenes content so you can be up to date with all the wacky, zany things we've got going on. Buy the merchandise. In today's spider theme, we've got our lovely Widows of the World shirt on. Uh, but thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was educational. I hope it was interesting. I hope that you, a uh, little Lick Newman wasp just flew by. I hope that you enjoyed um, the value that I brought to your lives today. So thank you for watching. Uh, stay tuned. Keep updated. And I'll see you next time.